Welcome to another installment of Motor Power Monday. I'm Mike Osertag. In this week's video, we're going to install the Milwaukee Roads Spark Arrestor style exhaust stacks, as well as the louvers, and we're going to use decals to do those. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take, as you can see, I've got the old exhaust stacks already cut off. We're just going to file the holes or the area where the old ones were. We're going to file those flat. Now I'm using CA to uh, as an adhesive. I've already applied some to the base of the uh, of the casting. And then what I'm going to do is uh, just use a little bit of accelerant, spray that on there. And uh, I'm just going to use a little brush with a little extra on it, get a little bit of the glue away there and get some ex extra accelerant on there to help hold it in place. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Now these are brass castings uh, offered by a company called BTS. They offer all sorts of HOS and O scale parts. Go check them out. Okay, here we got the both exhaust stacks in, uh, glued in. I'm just going to shoot it with some zip kicker or some uh, accelerant if you will. And then we're going to start putting the straps on. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole. I can't remember the size bit I used, but I'm using 15 thousandths uh, brass flat bar by Detail Associates. And you don't want the hole to be very large. Um, you want it big enough so that that can kind of press fit in there, but you're still going to be gluing it in place. Now, next thing I did is I took a piece of the flat bar stock, and I just kind of guessed at, a, at how long to make it. They because you can trim it off on the inside of the shell if it's too long. But then I just started making little bends, and I kind of did that off camera because I forgot where my hands were when I was doing the video. And that happens sometimes. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, short portion inside the hole, and then I'm going to uh, glue it with some CA from underneath. That way there's no adhesive marks or anything on the shell itself once I have it in place. Now I'm just actually kind of bending it a little bit to have it lean uh, like almost like a press fit against the brass casting. And when we're all said and done, once everything is in its place, that's what they'll look like. So let's move on to the louvers. So the EMD SW7 has six sets of louvers, four on the top, and then a gr six groups of 12 on the same doors as a groups of four. For the louvers, I'm using Archer uh, resin transfers. So they're pretty sweet. It's just like any other kind of decal. They're a water slide decal, so yeah, but the paper they're on is really thin, but they give a really nice three-dimensional texture to things like louvers, door latches, things of that nature, um, all sorts of welds. Uh, you name it, they pretty much have it. Go check them out. As you can see here, I've got some of my uh, louvers already started. And as you can see, I'm using the same lines as I did for the hinges. They're the perfect reference point for where to place those louvers. And here you can see the texture. It actually looks as if it's a part of the shell. Oh, well, here we're just going to keep on putting some more louvers on. You're only doing this to six doors on the engine. So it doesn't take very long. Those reference lines, like I said, those really help a lot. But it does take time. And it can be a little tedious. You're doing the same thing over and over. But if you tackle something like this, you got to find out what works for you and just go for it. Okay, now that we have our first couple of louvers in place, I'm going to put some solve set on these and get the decals to start setting and really making themselves a part of the shell. Well, now that i got some solve set on there, I'll just let that dry. Then I'll keep putting the rest of the louvers on. And when you're all said and done, this is what it'll end up looking like. In the next video, we're going to install the 3D printed headlight castings, including the LED bulbs. That should be a lot of fun. Please hit that subscribe button so that, and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep them on the shiny side. Bye now.